Good morning, traders. This is Brad Matheny again. Today's the 24th of July. Today was supposed to be a Harami pattern, but obviously Tesla and Google got in the way of that. We've seen a very big breakdown in the markets. This is a two minute SPY chart. This is a five minute SPY chart. This is a 10 minute SPY chart, and this is a 30 minute SPY chart. Where we're at right now, ladies and gentlemen, is we are seeing the markets struggle down here, setting up a base, potentially. We are below the ultimate um, uh, 38 range on the Fibonacci price theory. We are in downward trending with the pressure indicator. We are in downward trending with the uh, uh, trending with the pressure indicator here. We are below the 38, the ultimate and the unique 38 range. Again, we broke down here very aggressively moving down below these channels. Um, and it looks to me like, uh, like I said, we're really trying to find some support right now. Obviously, the NASDAQ down uh, two and a half percent is a big move. OK, it's a very big move on a single a uh, single day basis. Um, we are below this previous support channel, but I want you guys to pay attention to this a little bit. This is a weekly SPY chart highlighting the regression channel, which is standard deviation. Uh, this is a 2x standard deviation. I can do the same thing here with a 1x, essentially picking the same levels, coming back over here to pick the same levels. There we go, we come in here, go to inputs and we'll go 1X and 1X. And now you can see the inner channels, okay? This last rally phase had gotten up to the 2X, roughly high standard deviation channel, which was similar to back down here. We saw a reversion back to the middle area and then we rallied back through it. Yeah, there've been a couple of dips like this one last year, pretty strong dip outside the 2X and likely 3X standard deviation on a weekly basis. So now where we're at with this is we are outside, uh, still in the upper quadrant on the 1X um, standard deviation channeling, but on a daily basis, we have now broken slightly to the downside. So you can see here, We've broken slightly downward in this instance. Let me get rid of that. And where we're at with this is we're looking at a downward cycle trend um, that is breaking down right now where we would want to see this really break above as some sort of recovery here from this level back above 556 to 558. That would be a very good indication that we are rallying back to the upside above this channel and I can just carry this uh, here uh, style extend lines. So that gives you an idea that we're really looking for a move above this area 552 um, on the SPY as a solid breakout range, which means it will come back up into this area 558, 560. So we've got a ways to go here on this selling. And this is a very strong indication that we're likely going to be seeing this as a fairly deep pullback, trying to find some support down here in this area above the middle channel. Remember these standard deviation channels here, they're very handy in terms of determining 2X and 3X standard deviation. So remember, you can just come up to the standard deviation tool or the regression channel, which is part of the trend line system. I pick rejection points coming up to uh, the last close. It picks the same line level because remember, it's measuring trending and volatility. OK, and what we'll do here is we'll come in here. We'll pick the three X and you can see here there's the two X and three X ranges we would need to get really outside of this like we saw right here outside of this 3x range or potentially up over here that would be the area that big institutional traders would start to worry about risk factors really in this 
2x manner here and this 3x. So you're really looking at these areas as we move higher to become uh, real concerning issues. This area here was, I'm sure, throwing a lot of institutional people um, into a bit of turmoil, determining how to uh, withstand greater risk. A 2x, a 1 to 2x risk factor is okay. Uh, a 2 to 3x risk factor is getting pretty large uh, and may turn into a deeper event as it plays out. So we're very far away from a 2x, 3x pullback. Now, on a daily basis, like I said, we've already crossed that level. So be aware that on a daily basis here, we're already down beyond the 3x basis. Um, and um, some traders will understandably want to try to protect themselves from this risk. So again, this is a little idea to show you what's going on. We are still seeking out support. The markets are extremely under pressure. Um, and this could be a bottoming setup. So understand that long term, you know, we may I'll come here and go to a single chart and just give you an idea. This is a pretty good sell off, guys. Um, the news again that Google and Tesla had pretty solid earnings, but were particularly Tesla was underperforming a bit. Uh, I want you to be aware that this is a pretty strong, deep sell off. Anytime you see the NASDAQ down two and a half or more points, uh, and the Dow Jones down one percentage point, SPY down 1.6, these are big bars. One to one and a half percent, in my mind, is a pretty big move. Two, uh, much bigger. Two and a half, three, huge. That's absolutely massive. These types of moves only typically happen once or twice, or maybe three times a year. And typically, you may find that if this is an overreaction, it will revert back at some point. Uh, if this is an overreaction to price, then it will revert back to a mean. And that's what I'm trying to tell you. This is very likely a reversion setup in the making. So be aware that price, once it settles and washes out this, this uh, selling pressure from the news, because we were holding up pretty well until the news hit. And now we're, we're looking at this kind of a downward move. But in reality, you know, the news wasn't so bad. Tesla is still making money. Yeah, they're not selling cars as fast as they thought, but it's not horrible. It's not a collapse in the market, at least in my mind. And I think this is a big overreaction to price, and it's going to set up for a very solid reversion over the next four or five days. So again, um, pay attention to where we're at. I wanted to give you a heads up here. You know, we are, I'll go back to uh, this one, two minute. We are still pushing a little bit downward. We're still trying to identify that support. And uh, in reality, you know, if you wanted to take a look at where support's going to be, support is going to eventually be down in this sideways area here. This is where price rejection has been determined. And we are right in that mode right now. Okay. So understand that this is moderate support and we're getting right down into that trend mode right now, looking for a base, looking for support. Okay, guys, that's it for now. I'll check in with you later. I'm going to be on the road for about uh, well two hours or so, but all is good. Talk to you later.